Good day, guys. Now, I'd like to start in another segment. Uh, you've seen a few weeks ago I've posted the LARP video at Manifest, the role-playing sword play by the Melbourne group Swordcraft, which uh, practice around Princess Park in Carlton. I've uh, attended my first session with them, with my good friend Amal, who's a big supporter of this channel. And both of us had a, a wild time. I've uh, had a, such a great time being a kendoist and studied some forms of uh, martial arts and other activities, even though I am a fat cunt. And it's definitely something I will be uh, keep doing and uh, probably add some video content about it on this uh, very channel. Sorry, I needed the shit. Now to talk about my experiences as the uh, toilets finish flushing or whatever. The courses, uh, or the actual activity is very friendly for beginners. So uh, me and my friend did all the reading requirements on the website, the rules and whatnot. Rocked up with uh, you know a couple of dollars and basic clothing, and they were very accommodating. Uh, they had this fantastic medieval tent set up and. They uh, got us to register first time two dollars. They drew a little funny mark on your face, and I'll explain that later. Uh, for the first quarter of the games, they drag us aside and uh, put us through very basic uh, training. Uh, they lend us some uh, these latex uh, short swords with a carbon rod in the middle of it, and a, from my understanding, for thrusting a Kevlar sheet over the top for thrusting. Uh, it's a very interesting um, piece, and I'll probably, you know, pull out my um, camcorder and have a play with it at the uh, next event. They got us to pair up and just, you know, practice sparring, and later explained the illegal place to hit within the games is uh, the head, the neck, uh, the crutch region, your very hands, and your very feet. Anything else is uh, open game where if you do a full swing tap or a elbow bent thrust that's a point and with the point system they explained everyone has an automatic uh, three points and if they get uh, struck they lose a point if they get hit by some sort of um, projectile object being archery firearms whatever which they do have that counts two points and some magical bullshit fireball thingy which just fucking kills you but we haven't seen any of that yet including uh, healing, but I suppose it's something I'll discover later. So after this uh, basic training and sparring, um, they've already broken up the entire group into two camps, and there's all these war bands in uh, very well-designed uh, matching tunics and full-plate armour, chainmail, a brigade of guys that are absolutely uh, shirtless and bearded, yet, you know, people with lances, bows, swords, the lot, was fantastic, cloaked guys with daggers, and they've uh, lined up the majority of the experienced guys in shields, armour and whatnot, and they had a, the two sides clash with uh, shields and swords and whatnot, and all the other bits and pieces and extra skirmishing around the uh, flanks. Now, before the game started, uh, the halls or the ovals been closed for a few weeks due to rain and mud and damage to the field. And when we started, we couldn't be on the main ground, so no grandstand lighting. We did a lot of this in dark. And supposedly it's not ideal for beginners, but very interesting. So our first skirmish, we followed um, one of the smallish, well-armed, well-experienced Spanish conquistador-looking uh, battle group and uh, got us facing off whoever came on the flank side and with the little marks I'm going to explain now they're painted on our face because we have no armour and every bit of armour you have equals to an extra point that you could be stabbed to be killed and uh, being only three points and inexperienced you know we're practically cannon fighters so that gives us an automatic nine which is more hit points than your normal person on the field, but some people can have up to 13, 14 if they had a full suit of plated armor, which looks fucking cool. So, uh, 
thinking we're invincible, we just went out there like crazy, but once you get surrounded and part from your group, you can have three, four people ganging up on you and you do get down very, very quickly. Uh, fighting in the group and this whole thing, excellent amount of fun. Encountered some friends and uh, we'll be participating in um, one of these uh, battle groups uh, very shortly. Also, among this medieval tent, they were selling some uh, goods fairly cheap from Germany and as a impulse buy, because I'm fucking bad at that, I got myself a motherfucking Viking helmet. Now, I don't know if I'm ever going to use it or not, but I've got a collection of military hats which I should show off one day. But this thing is like real fucking steel and it's oiled up like crazy because it's going to rust like some of the swords I own. And amazing, amazing time. What I'd like to try to do in the future is uh, bring the camera as often as I can and just uh, film... Uh, what I'm trying to describe. It may sound like a bunch of adults uh, playing with sticks in a yard, but it looks absolutely amazing what they're doing. Fantastic, a lot of fun, and hopefully uh, I should be able to get involved deeper and deeper as time goes on. Uh, thank you very much, and peace the fuck out. Look forward to actual uh, photos and footage in future uh, videos about this.